Hello everyone, so today we're going to talk about how to fix the stutter or lag issue in Brawlhalla even if you have a good computer or even if your network is fine but Brawlhalla still seems to be a little bit lagging or like the stuttering while you play your games and all and it's not smooth so well we will talk about how to fix it right now alright first of all just close your game uh, don't, run, uh, don't let any games run in the background so let's do that And after that, you have to go over to your NVIDIA control panel. It, it's if you have a NVIDIA graphics card. Well, if not, then you might have a AMD graphics card. And you have to go over to your AMD app then. And then in the AMD app, you can probably see something uh, in the global settings. You'll probably see an option called um, reset shader cache or clean shader cache. So you, you just basically have to well clean your shader cache at that point, and then you'll be done. Well, for, for now, uh, for NVIDIA, you have to go over here and manage 3D settings, click on manage 3D settings, and then go over shader cache and make, make sure to turn it off. And after you turn it off, you have to click on apply. Give it some moment to apply and all, it just takes a while. So yeah, now you can see it's off. Now you go, go over to your this PC or well, my computer and open your local leaks um, or your drive where Windows is installed, right click over it go over to properties go over to disk cleanup and then you will see this window pop up and after that untick everything and then tick only the direct X shader cache well for me it's zero bytes because I already well deleted it so yeah basically we are just going to delete the sit direct X shader cache so well make sure that this one is tick the direct X shader cache is ticked and others are not and then after that click on OK so that will delete the direct X shader cache I don't know how to actually pronounce the cache, but I just say it, it's cache. So um, don't mind me if I'm uh, mispronouncing it. So yeah, that should do it. After you delete that, go go back to your uh, yeah NVIDIA control panel, NS3D settings, and then make sure to turn it back on, and then you have to apply it again. So after you have applied it, um, well, close this, close this NVIDIA control panel. And for AMD, yeah, you just have to click on um, <coughs> like clean shader cache I think that's it that's the process you don't have to turn on and off like this and delete it but yeah you can manually also go ahead and do your my computer and then go ahead and just delete it on your own and uh, also perform the clean shader cache option both should be fine and after that you have to perform a clean installation of your drivers so I recommend actually going ahead to Google Chrome and downloading NVIDIA GeForce Experience if you don't have it so go ahead and download any NVIDIA GeForce Experience app and then well make an account and after that after that install the latest drivers so if if you have already the nvidia GeForce experience installed and you have installed the latest graphics drivers so you can see these three dots just click over there and click on reinstall driver now for others who have not installed the latest graphics drivers download the latest graphics drivers and click on install and after you click on install this bar will pop up i mean not install <laughs> i mean uh, this bar will pop up after you finish your download all right don't click on anywhere um, click first on custom installation so then you click on custom installation then it will pop up uh, this window and then you in there you have to click on perform clean installation so after you um, click on the perform clean installation just click on ok and then that should be it that should uh, fix your issue of stuttering and all and as far for AMD just go ahead and uh, reinstall your latest graphics drivers that should do it I don't know if there is a way to actually perform a clean, clean installation of graphics drivers in AMD so you guys have to look about that yourselves but yeah just reinstall your drivers and then restart your computer that should basically fix it basically reset your shader direct shader cache too just uh, just a reminder that if other games also need some like shader cache loading and all like apex legends recently did that so you might be again loading in it the first time after that it should fix all right don't worry about that if you have any questions regarding this you can ask in the comment section below but yeah you have to click on here on the perform clean installation click on install that's it all right um well, hope it helped. I'm not really gi giving any guarantee that it will help, it, but it might help. All right. So yeah. Until next time, then.